A number written in standard index form takes the form a times 10 to the power of n. a is a number between 1 and 10 and n is the amount of times you have to multiply this number by by 10 to give you the original number. The easiest way to do this is just to count how many places you move the decimal point. So let's have a look at example 1. So we've got to write down 51,000 in standard index form. So first of all a has to be a number between 1 and 10 so we're going to say it's 5.1. So how many times do we multiply 5.1 by to give us the original number? Again the easiest way to do this is to count how many places you move the decimal point. So originally the decimal point was here and we put it here. So how many times has it been multiplied by 10? Well that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So we put the power 4 there. So let's have a look at our next number. So this time we've got 6430000000. So again we need to make our first digit between 1 and 10. So let's go with 6.43. So we've put the decimal point here. So how many times have we got to multiply this by 10 to give us the original number? So again let's just count how many places we move the decimal point. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we need to multiply it by 10 and do this 8 times. So let's move on to example 3. So this time we've got to write down 8 million in standard form. So 8 million is 8 followed by 6 zeros. So again, what we need to do is make the first number between 1 and 10. So we're going to write that as 8.0. You could just put 8 if you wanted to. So again, how many places have we moved the decimal point? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's times 10 to the power of 6. So we've got one final example. So we've got another number here, but this number doesn't contain many zeros. So what we need to do before we put it in standard index form is just to round this number off. Uh, I'm going to round it off to three significant figures. So if you round it off to three sig figs, that's three numbers from the start, we get 7, 5, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So we now can put this number in standard index form. So our first number has to be between 1 and 10, so we can write that as 7.52. So how many times do we need to multiply it by 10 to give us the original number? So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9.